Hi everyone, Digga here, and I have a blind box set of vegetable fairy minifigures based off of Ponkichi M's fairy tale vegetable animals. These are made by Dodowo, a separate company, and I got this box on Amazon Japan, and I'm really excited to take a look inside. Can you dig it? So here we have the massive box. You'll see the very nice, uh, like, holofoil text here as I move it back and forth. It's really cute. There's a very cool little lineup here. You'll see this on this fine art. There is a child playing with a dog made of cabbage, aptly named Cabbage Dog. We have a uh, shiitake mushroom weasel, little garlic cat. So here's the lineup down here. We have uh, the, the one that sold me on this entire franchise, Cabbage Dog, MVP. We have the Daikon Root Fox. We have the shiitake mushroom weasel. We have Garlic Cat. We have the Lotus Root Fox. We have Broccoli Squirrel, that little friend. And then two secrets, which from my research, uh, the secrets are a red Daikon Fox and a yellow Cabbage Dog. And apparently Yellow Cabbage Dog is the super duper secret rare. So let's look at the rest of the box here. You'll notice down here, there's a very uh, nice little line of friends. I haven't actually seen these ones yet. What's going on here? Is that a carrot bird? Uh, Cookie Panda, there's Broccoli Squirrel. There's an energetic child running around of some kind of eggplant spirit. And then Garlic Cat, uh, some sort of like a bamboo fish. Another mushroom dog. And um, is that a like a like a turtle root or something? This box has like this uh, in little insertion here that allows you to pop it up. I'll be doing that in a second. But I wanted to give you a nice quick look around here. There's Broccoli Squirrel, taking up a ton of frame, just absolutely massive. Here's the uh, the part where you will be pulling out the rest of the box. It's all going to come together wonderfully, assuming I don't mess it up. I might mess it up, but let's not worry about that. There's Cabbage Dog, once again, MVP, heckin' cute. I have a plush toy coming from um, AmiAmi sometime in the next month or two or three, I don't know, whenever it gets here. So this is the back of the box. We have uh, the Dodoo logo. Apologize if I'm saying that wrong, but it's nice and rainbow. I don't know what the proper term is. It's like a, a holofoil rainbow sort of finish, and the text is embossed. This is Ponkichi M's avatar. It's a uh, it's a pupperino with a uh, little mushroom friend, and some sort of really comfortable little suit there. It's not Among Us, I promise. A bunch of other text. I cannot read this. So first of all, I'm going to. I'm a little worried to do this. So I'm going to break the box. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. This seems to be like a push out. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, I don't want to break it. Oh, no. Okay. All right. I'm just going to do this live. So it kind of... Uh, oh, gosh. It's kind of supposed to, like, pop out. Like, you stand it up here, and I guess you fold it up. I kind of don't want to fold it, though. It looks really nice. I don't, I don't want to ruin it. Speaking of ruining it, let's open the bottom tab. No. There's actually a... A little bit of tape here that I just noticed, so I don't have to destroy this. And we're going to cut this little tape part first. Gently unfold this, and you'll see, actually, is there tape on the sides? It should be okay, right? Let's, let's go for it. Yeah, there we go. Everything's nice and safe now. Let's take a look inside. So first of all, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Holy cow. Um, My goodness. We have, like, an actual art display here. Like, this is some kind of incentive binder type deal? I didn't know this was going to be inside. Um, it also comes with several little rings, which, uh, you know, you put these together like a, some sort of pamphlet, I guess. Yeah, and it, it shows off uh, the creatures and it talks about them. Um, yeah, I, I didn't expect this to be in here. Uh, there, is that like a recipe down below? We're going to have to go through these at the end, probably. So you'll see, as you open up this box, it is so big, I need to get a longer table. <laughs> as you open this up, you're supposed to kind of lift and fold, I think? Yeah, like a store display. Yeah, I don't know how to fit this in shot, but you'll have to take my word for it. Inside are the six boxes, which are looking, they also have holofoil. They look really nice. Um, I think, we'll look at one first. And then I'll move this behemoth off to the side. Oh yeah. Check this out. We got a nice big box, a heap and helping of vegetable fairy. This is massive. This thing is huge. 
I thought these were going to be like tiny gachapon figures, but I think I might have just dedicated like an entire display to this. You have, uh, I believe that is the Daikon Fox on top getting kind of like a nice little squishy cheek massage. That's adorable. Vegetables Fairy. Off to the side, here is our six design plus one plus one hidden edition. So we have, again, a quick go over. We have Broccoli Squirrel. We have the Shiitake Mushroom Fox. We got Garlic Cat. The Lotus Root Fox. The uh, Daikon Radish Fox. Cabbage Dog. And the rare ones, the Red Daikon Fox and the Yellow Cabbage Dog. On the back, there's more uh, Dodoo times Ponkichi M stuff. A little description of all the company here. A really nice little holofoil sticker friend. I think it's a lucky cat almost, or maybe it's just Ponkichi. I can't tell. And something really cute that I didn't notice is uh, there is a very, very tiny cabbage dog in the middle of that QR code. That's pretty freaking cute. And on the bottom, nothing super exciting. But yeah, let's go ahead and take these out of the box and we'll kind of go in order here. Bear with me for a second. I'll have them in the order they're in in the box in case anyone that orders a case of these from like Japan or any of the... There's a lot of places selling these actually like um, My Plastic Heart had some. I think Strange Cat Toys had some. Like the, the cases weren't too hard to find. Okay, so we have these six giant boxes here looking very nice, very fresh, very clean. Very expressive. I actually, I wanted to like save all this stuff because it looks so pretty. I suppose we should get started. Though I don't really want to because I don't want to, you know, tear all this apart. Uh, there is a pull tab right here, but I kind of feel like I should just lift. Mm, I don't know. I'll go for the pull tab. Oh, it's going to hurt so much though. I don't want to like, this packaging is so nice. I don't want to like break it. But I know that if I pull this, it'll be even messier. Let's go ahead and just rip it open. You know, whatever. Toys are meant to be played with. You got to go through a lot of red tape first. Let's open up our first box here. And see what lovely friend lurks inside. Oh my gosh. Okay, these are... This is super hefty. Also, I think this is Broccoli Squirrel. Uh, what else do we have in here? Whoa, we get a free cookie! No, it's a coaster. It is Broccoli Squirrel. That's kind of a spoiler. So each of these comes with its own, um, like, I think this is straight up a coaster. Unless I'm wrong and this is like a sticker somehow. This set is really surprising me. My goodness. I, uh, I did not expect most of this stuff. Holy cow. Again, this is in the order that they were in the case. So this one would be on the, uh, the top right side of the box. It's like you're, you're facing the box in the front, pretty much. So this behemoth here is apparently Broccoli Squirrel, and I'll refrain from looking at the other ones, even though I know I'm going to be, at minimum, getting the six main ones. I actually, I kind of like the main ones more than the secret ones. I mean, like, Yellow Cabbage Dog is cute, and the Red Daikon Fox is pretty sweet, but I don't want, like, a Yellow Cabbage Dog. I want the, the OG. That's my boy. Anyway, enough stalling, because I'm having too much fun of this. You got the Dodolo logo all throughout here. Here's the pool. Let's open it up and look at our friend, shall we? Oh my gosh. Whoa! That's a big boy! That's a heckin' chonker right there. Look at the I'm in awe of the size of Broccoli Squirrel. This thing is literally like the size of an entire big head of broccoli. Wow! I'm freaking impressed. Holy cow. And apparently they have like a little QR code on the bottom too. So this is Broccoli Squirrel and he does not need any food for the winter because he is, he, you know, they say you are where you eat and he is himself. He is broccoli. You'll see all the detail on the stems and uh, all of the, well, I guess there's one stem. It's attached to him. He is the broccoli or maybe he's like a mutant. I don't know. There's a really nice brushwork going on here. There's uh, the proper bumps to simulate the broccoli. It almost kind of looks like a, like a bunch of, a bundle of moss from the top you can you can hold him like he's got his own parachute you know it's like dun 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 dun, dun. i'm going on a mission Shoom. Foom. gently floating down and this is proof that i have too much fun playing with my toys so yeah it's a really nice sculpt i, I really like the shading on the broccoli squirrel as well it's got like a really a sort of a, a light cream effect going on almost like a bit of a mocha 
like a really, really light mocha. Got those bold green eyes with the little white pupil in them. I like this a lot. This is super high quality and huge. And gosh, I mean, I guess I just put it up here for now. <laughs> wow. And I didn't even think you would get a coaster with these. That's just hardcore. And let's move on to our next box, shall we? This one is equally as heavy. Let's pull it open. Yeah. My goodness. I ended up tearing that part anyway. Don't worry about it. Okay. Get that out. We'll check out the coaster afterward. Move the box out of the way. Box is freaking huge. This one, I think, is probably one of the radish friends. It feels that long. Let's take a look. Let's see who's inside. Wow, that literally tore so perfectly that it didn't open. <laughs> I could brute force it, but that would not be uh, good on your ears. So let's do like the sort of, uh, you know, sometimes in blind box videos where people don't see the pull tabs and they use the scissors regardless. You're like, uh, you know, I don't want to be rude. I appreciate the video you're doing. But at the same time, did you, did you know there's a little tab on top? You can just pull that. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Oh, this feels very spindly. It's got like, a, it feels like uh, shredded vegetables. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's the Daikon Fox. So I didn't get the rare one, but um, well, actually, you never know. There might still be a chance. Probably not. But wow, this is hefty. These things are huge. Like, holy cow. Like, um, what do I have nearby to compare this with? Oh, I know. This is the Emmy Amiibo from Metroid Dread. Look at the just the, the scale here. Look at how big this thing is. And for good measure, Here's a mole car. That's not a frame of reference most people have, but I did it anyway. The Daikon Radish Fox has these really nice sort of, um, like a not quite bendy, but still a, a very solid plastic for the roots. It looks really nice. Uh, the way that they have all the leaves going through and they're, they're kind of just bundled together very nicely. I don't think there's any bendy wires in here, but I'm not going to be messing with it. Uh, the, the face sculpt is very, very handsome. I look at, look at this dude. He's got the swagger and he knows it. He's also not focusing for some reason. He's got the swagger and he knows it. He's got like the, all the markings of the sort of uh, traditional fox. He's looking pretty good. He's got uh, some really nice lighter shading down here. It kind of goes from, uh, you know, the, the pure white here to the sort of mustard yellow on the paws. And there's even little toe beans. Okay, well, that's that's freaking adorable. Did, did he have toe beans? He didn't. He was a squirrel. That's freaking cute. I like that a lot. So it's looking pretty good. I, I like the uh, the very nice sort of uh, like avocado green coloring on the face and the eyes and all that stuff. It's a, that's another win. Definitely gonna eat your vegetables after seeing these cool friends. And let's take a look at the coaster. Almost grabbed another box instead of looking at the coaster. Oh, nice. Yeah. So this is the Daikon Radish. And, um, you know, the fox is having a good time playing with the kid. Uh, it's not for sale. So I'm not going to be selling it, obviously. But that's going to be pretty cool. I probably won't even use the coasters. I just uh, I love the way that these look so much that I'm probably just going to keep everything nice and pristine. Yeah. Let's go for uh, case number three, shall we? Give it a nice pull. It still doesn't kind of get the end of it, but that's okay. Coaster out. Oh, this one is, uh, wait a minute. Do these have silica gel packets in them? Oh. Um, I think I know which one it is now. There's a desiccant in here. Huh. So one of these must have like a, a very interesting material to it then. Is this cabbage dog? It might be cabbage dog. Where's the pull tab? Here it is. Or technically, I guess it's not a pull tab. It's like a little opening. I don't know what the term is, but that's fine. You don't have to worry about that. All righty, let's bring this friend out. Who is it? Oh, it's the shiitake mushroom fox. Looking very... Uh, <laughs> With the way my lighting is right now, he looks like a, a lone Ronin, you know, like in uh, in an anime where 
They kind of cover the eye so it looks more dramatic. I am enamored by the sculpt. Look at the way that they did the bottom of the mushroom ridges all like ruffled. And this pup also has toe beans, by the way. Very, very important. Uh, you'll see the 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 mushroom itself uh, has, you know, they're, they're sort of like designs you can do when you're cooking to make them look cooler. And this one kind of like has a battle scar, like just a big old X and tiny little ears poking out. That's friggin' adorable. This material, um, very solid. I don't know if you can hear this knocking. He's not gonna be getting hurt anytime soon. And, uh, tail's nice and puffy and swirly. Yeah, I was wondering how they were gonna do his little, um, his mouthpiece. And that is a separate little part that probably is gonna get lost immediately. So I gotta make sure that I don't lose this. Narrator, he immediately loses it. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'll be okay. So here's his little stem, kind of to, you know, you know, like the stereotypical, like, oh, I'm cool. I got the stem, and it's kind of like I'm smoking, but not really. You'll see that, uh, gosh, if I can angle this. You'll see he's got the hole in his mouth. You'll see that this will line up with that very specific spot. The way it is sculpted, it looks like it's kind of... Uh, there's like a little bit of a an edge right here that lets you just push it right in. Yeah, there we go. Okay. No, that came right out. Okay. Let's angle this a little better. Yeah, there we go. That's looking pretty nice. He actually, he's kind of like long enough to be an otter, really. Yeah, I love the way that the the lighting accidentally gives him the, you know, the, I'm a cool dude. Don't mess with me. I'm going to bring in my sword and we'll have a real battle. Anyway, here's the coaster. This is the shiitake mushroom friend. Looks like that leaf petal broke up. Okay, well, we gotta make some room here. So I'm gonna go ahead and move, I'm gonna move these boxes forward and I'm going to continue these um, from right to left, I guess. So this, this one is the one that's in the bottom right of the box. This one's in the middle right. And this one's the middle right, middle bottom, Bottom left. Figure I might as well be as accurate as possible for anyone who wants to buy these. Let's do it. Still not quite, but I'll get there. I'm wondering, um, maybe he had the desiccant because of the rubbery material. But then why wouldn't Daikon Radish Fox? I don't know. Oh, this one's hefty. Oh, it's chunky. Oh, gosh. I'm having too much fun. All right, we have just a, a behemoth here. Let's tear it open and see who our next friend is. Oh, I'm seeing some green. Is it Cabbage Dog? Oh, there it is. There's Cabbage Dog. <laughs> the star of the show, the cream of the crop. Why is there a QR code on my finger? He's amazing. Where did this go? I'll put this off to the side for now. Look at that lovely face. So, you know, this figure, this design is what sold me on the entire Dodowo Animal Friends. And I just, I wanted everything to do with it. I wanted the plush toys. I wanted the figures. Had to wait a while for them to be announced. Like, I think certain places actually got the plush toy. And then Amiyami and import stores are finally getting them in October or it is October. In like November or something. He's got the toe beans. Why does he have so many QR code stickers? What's going on here? I'm probably going to take all those off. But you'll see the man, the sculpting. Woof. That was unintentional, but funny. He's got the sort of uh, the lettucey ears. He's got the puffy face, the big cheeks, the tongue. He's got the little subtle, a um, little bit of lighter green shade here to kind of uh, capture the Shiba Inu sort of like eyebrow look. And then of course he's got all of these ruffles to pretty much perfectly capture. Like, I feel like I'm holding a cabbage right now, except it's, you know, it's, it's heavier, but I can feel it. Like, look at the design work. This is sublime. This is superb. I'm going to run out of uh, descriptors here. Like the way that the coloring fades out and then back in and the, the ridges kind of like loop around. It's so good. And it all, of course, crescendos at the tiny ball tail. <laughs> what a cutie. 
And then there's even like the sort of um, the sort of leafage kind of what's the proper like terminology? There's some vegetable terms here. The membrane. I don't know. And the little folds of here and like the neck. It all has this uh, the sort of lined texture that just works so well. It looks so good. And I keep touching the QR codes. I don't know why there's so many of them. It's got the white all around, the subtle shades, the coloring. I'm in love. I love Cabbage Dog. 10 out of 10. Worth the price of admission alone, honestly. There he is. Vegetables Dog, the Cabbage Friend. So cute. You know, there's so many cool designer coasters, but I don't like using the fancy ones because I'm like, I want to collect them, but I'm not going to put drinks on there because that ruins them. But you got the coaster to use it. Yeah, but I'm collecting it, though. But are you going to use it? <laughs> no. <laughs> it looks nice on the table. But I couldn't bring myself to do it. What's next? Oh, another desiccant. Desiccant MVP. It's hefty. Well, that's interesting. I, I don't know why some of them have desiccants, but others don't. Or maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Oh, I know what this one is. As I almost dropped my entire setup here because I fumbled around. This one, I believe, is a Garlic Cat because it's small. Oh, yeah, it's in a bag and everything. Ooh-wee! Something stinks in here, and it looks like it is our friend Garlic Cat. Holy cow. Okay. All right, well, you've seen so far the sculpts have been exceptional, but look at this lovely... Chunky friend and the QR code. Look at those toe beans. Look at that precious face with the nice, happy, blushy cheeks and the ears and the big old smile with kind of like the not a furrowed brow, but kind of looks like uh, he's like, oh, you're <laughs> I really appreciate the attention, but please, you're looking a little too long and you can hold the tail up and you can kind of just have him walk around. Do, 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 do. Anyway. Look at the top of this. Look at the ears and the just the big bulb. He's the entire thing's a bulb. I love the way that the tail has like all this just like bumpy texture here. That it kind of has like like the consistency of a rice cracker. It's very strange. It's almost like a at any moment it could become sentient and attack. So yeah, the, the shading is phenomenal. The, as usual, the sculpt work, whew. The way that it captures both like the texture of the onion while also almost simulating the fur of the cat is pretty darn sweet. And again, it does have like the, the big pieces going into the center to make it a bulb and wow. The shading, the, there's the happiness, the little paws absolutely perfect i have no qualms with this i am in love one problem is i'm gonna have to make room for the last friend who i think we all know what the last one is it's gonna be the lotus root friend okay okay that's freaking adorable i had like an exact moment where my heart stopped because of how precious this is it's <laughs> so freaking cute. Look at the big open eyes at the heart. That's right. So freaking cute. I have an entire coaster collection. I can't believe this is so nice. May Garlic Cat bless your timeline today. All right. We have the final box here, which is going to be the Lotus Root Pal. And as expected, I didn't get the secret rares, but that's okay. Because I just wanted the, the, the crew of six. I wanted just the solid gang. I didn't realize they were going to be this big. I did not even imagine in my wildest dreams. Well, that one opened up pretty nicely. Th these would be massive. Or desiccant. I guess since we already know, we might as well look at the coaster first. Oh, you're doing it out of order. I'm the one with the vegetable friends. I do what I want. <laughs> Uh-oh, my reviewer's a little conceited. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So this is the Lotus Root friend. Very, very cute. Uh, happy little cunning little fox. Look at those paws. Lotus Root. I actually kind of like Lotus Roots. They're not bad. Gotta cook them a bit, though. 
And then last but not least, let's open our final friend. It's so big. Oh my goodness. Look at that shading. Whoa. Okay. That is precious. Look at those happy eyes. Look at the, just the coloring of the lotus root. The shades of pink. This literally looks like somebody emulated like the perfect flower in figure form. Look at how lovely this is. Look at how the, the shades of pink kind of reach the peaks of the individual little leaves. You have the bumpy texture of the, the seeds in the center. I think I'm not familiar with the wild lotus root. I just eat it. <laughs> you got the toe beans. You got the QR code. These things, they're cute, but I mean, they're kind of just like, why are they on the figure? I don't get it. Anyway, no, that's not trying to complain. This one is probably like the most uh, simplistic of them all in terms of the base animal, but the flower just is just insane. Holy cow. And I really like uh, the individual, like the ear plumes. There's like these little parts here that kind of set the ears apart. And you have the, uh, the very cute uh, inset eyes. Now that's something I didn't actually uh, notice on the other figures. Like uh, they're, they're actually the eyes are inset. They're kind of they go inward. There's depth to them. These are honestly some of the nice just little figures I've gotten in a very long time. <laughs> so cute. And you'll notice that um, the Lotus Root Fox does have a sort of uh, like a pinkish cream. I don't really know a better way to describe this color, so I'm just going to say, like, this looks like the consistency of a shampoo bottle you would find in a hotel. That's a weird description, but it kind of has, like, that sort of lightish pinkish cream. And, and I guess I should bring back the, uh, the Daikon Fox again. You'll see that the whites are totally different. This one is like a, a 5500K uh, LED bulb. And this one's like the, the warm bulb version. What a weird comparison, but I think you kind of get what I'm trying to say, right? Or maybe I'm crazy. Very, very, very nice. And wow, just the detail. I can't get over this. this. The details are amazing on these. I'm so enamored. Gosh, these are so cool. Alrighty, let's take a quick little look at the, what seems to be a miniature version of the book itself. With several pages inside, you saw this earlier, it looks really cute. Also, I'm sorry, does that pup have wings? <laughs> Alright, well, we gotta take a look at these. Um, it looks like, actually, it is... That's a lot of pages, hold on a second. Is this, like, a chunk of the book? My goodness. There's no way, right? It doesn't have, like... Okay, I'm gonna open this off camera. Okay, so what we have is two big, hefty, like cardboard chunks. And uh, we put these together with the middle part and it makes the book. So let's start off with the cover right here. You'll see that frog is on fire. That is not okay. Somebody please help him. <laughs> this is, I believe the cover to the actual book. So you see, you know, there's a broccoli squirrel. There seems to be a, uh, oh my goodness. I think that's the uh, lemon flying squirrel. Uh, the frog's on fire. I don't know what his deal is. Uh, garlic cat. A uh, mushroom mouse and a peanut walrus. See, there's so many cute designs. That, you know, there's endless possibilities of figures to make. On the back here is a child on the run from what appears to be the bamboo shoot squadron. You better watch out. They're going to get you. And then there's uh, the whale shark carrot. Uh, I think that is a like a, a radish fish. And then um, another fish down here. I don't know what that is. I think that is a just basically like leaves of some. I don't I don't know. And this child also has a potted plant friend, which is a tiny pup that appears to have a giant tree tail. That's curious. Now the middle page, 
has our handsome friend, Cabbage Dog, the best, the one, the only. He's got the music notes. He's having a blast. He's getting a nice little uh, everything rub. He is the fairy. There's a big description on the back that I cannot read, but I'm sure that plenty of people will enjoy it, especially kids. And it, it talks about like what the vegetable is. And uh, I don't know, I see a 7,000 in here. It's probably how expensive he is. You know, Cabbage Dog, definitely worth 7,000. And then, uh, as mentioned earlier, it appears to be a recipe of some kind. You know, like ways to cook them. I don't know. I'm kind of a kind of 50 50 on that. Like on, on one hand, it's really cool that they're teaching kids to eat their vegetables. On the other hand, I don't want to eat these friends over here. I think this might be the back cover. Actually, um, one of these one of these is the back cover. I don't know. I'm, I apologize. But you have the um, the lotus root fox is being loved by this child and the daikon root fox is not having it. He's very shocked. Like, huh? when somebody loved me, everything was beautiful. <laughs> also, we got to talk about this cuttlefish watermelon here. I've seen this friend. Uh, they've made like keychains of him. And I, I need I need it in my life. Also, there's a bunch of birds as peas. You know, they say you got, you know, peas in a pod. Here you got birds and a peas in a pod and the birds, bird, bird pod, something. And then at the very top, there is a honey badger, quite literally, I believe. Uh, feel free to correct me on any of these if I'm wrong. Also, there's uh, some little mushroom cat birds. A lot of mushrooms here. Looking very handsome and cute and dapper and I like it. And then on the back, or I guess this might be the middle, whichever one, it just goes over. Uh, here's Ponkichi M's profile, I suppose. I can't read it. But I do see quite a few lovely individuals here. Cabbage Dog is very surprised at whatever endeavor is going on here. You got the flying dogs. You know, they say when pigs fly, but you see a Shiba Inu on the flying zone, you better watch out. You know, they say you're, you're, you're flying in restricted air zone. That's because this guy owns the skies. Now uh, there's a, um, an eggplant ink octopus thing. I can't really tell. I'm going to get closer on that. Too close. That might be a kitty. I think that's a kitty. And it looks like Daikon Radish Fox actually did get to have fun with the human. And the shiitake mushroom pepperoni is guarding the entirety of this fair land. And there's a little piggy teapot. Teapot, growy, um, leaf pig. And then we have the three rings here. I'm going to attempt to put this into the best order I can for the book. I think this is the proper order because it's got the QR codes on the back. Here we go. I got the three rings on. It actually wasn't that hard. I was pulling the wrong way. And I guess this is how you would have it displayed in the store. Here's the book. You kind of open it up. This is to show kids, you know, like this is what's inside and get you interested in the franchise and the friends and the fun. And maybe you'll buy something. And you scan the QR codes and check out the Dobo stuff and all that goodness. Okay, and here is a quick zoom out to show how this would look in stores. Once again, breaking my display, no problem. So you would have the boxes kind of showing. I didn't want to do the whole tearing of the side thing. So I think this is the best way to do it. You know, you fold in the, the middle parts, you bring up the top, you have all the boxes laid out. And then off to the side, you would have the booklet and or maybe even in front. And so that when people came to the little display area to look at the, the gotcha pond and the boxes, they would see this lovely booklet, take a look inside and see, oh, well, I want that one. I want to get, uh, I want to get Cabbage Dog. And I think that's pretty sweet. Makes for a very lovely display. And uh, I probably am not going to be tossing this because this is some of the nicest blind box display I've ever seen. I mean, come on. It's come with like a coaster and you like a big little they come with like a big book and I love it. So that was a look at the Dodowo vegetable fairy blind box figures and these things are sublime. They came out so well and they're huge. They are massive. I was not expecting that. I was expecting, you know, tiny little uh, 300 yen, you know, like candy toys. These things are behemoths. They're massive. They're insane. I love them so much. Super duper big thumbs up. If you're interested in these lovely little friends, you could uh, check a few different sites. Uh, I think Amazon Japan and Amiami sold out a while ago, but you can probably catch a case on uh, My Plastic Heart or Strange Cat Toys. I would say they're 100% worth it. Thank you so much for watching.
watching, everyone. I hope you had a good time. I had an amazing time unboxing these friends. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.